You can't do this without great coaches that you coach with, and uh, can't thank Jamie Traxel enough for the work that she put into this class. Um, you know, we, a lot of these kids here, I guess we can say now, we've been committed for about over a year, a little bit, and then also Bryn Dordell and Kendall Grimm, um, and, and actually our team too. You know, because our team, when, the, when these recruits come on campus, they have to stay with our with our recruits. To, excuse me, they have to stay with our recruits. Um, they host the families here. Uh, so I mean, our team and everybody involved with our program just does a great job. So I just really want to thank them for all the hard work that they put in to this class. Um, all three of our athletes coming in here are just tremendous. Um, I'm going to kind of follow what Marin said a little bit. Just tremendous young women fit per perfectly into our program. Um, it's very strong academically, very strong athletically, great character people. Um, you know, last year I was up here talking and we had, I kind of use the word power, we had a power class. So this class that we have this year as freshmen are a lot of power. Well, we're adding the speed this year. Um, the first person I'm going to announce is Montana DeCamp from Indianola, Iowa. Um, Montana actually was a little bit different. They play summer softball over in Iowa and she didn't play high school softball. She's actually elected to play with her uh, travel ball team to kind of get a little more exposure, to kind of travel around a little bit and play some other competition. And uh, Montana's a shortstop, right-handed hitting, or excuse me, right-handed throwing, thrower, right-handed hitter. Very versatile, can play short, can play third, can play center field. Also has very good speed though. She hit uh, 543 last year, 11 home runs, 47 RBIs, um, but also is 20 for 20 in stolen bases. So it has kind of a sneaky quickness about her. Something that we're really excited about, just the versatility that she brings to our program and just, just very high character, um, just high academic person to add to our program. The other one was uh, Morgan Olson. Uh, Morgan, we've actually seen here since, I think basically her freshman year. She's been coming to our clinics. Um, she committed back when she, it's been a couple years since she's committed, yes, to our program. She's been to our clinics ever since then. We've had a chance to get to know her and her family. She's from Zambroda Mazeppa High School. Uh, I usually get those two mixed up, but I'll get it correct today. Um, she's a, actually, you know, she's a pitcher more in high school. Um, I believe she was like 84 or 83 and 14 last year. She's been all state as a pitcher. We're looking at her more probably as an outfielder. Um, tremendous arm, tremendous speed, very good bat. I think she had about 600 last year in high school. Um, but also pitching wise, she is a strong pitcher, very good drop ball, good curve. So somebody, uh, somebody actually, we've never had a left-handed pitcher in our, the career that I've been here as a coach in our uh, pitching staff. So she's somebody that's gonna probably see a little bit of action on the mound, see some action on the outfield, you know, and kind of see where it's gonna fit in best, but something we're really excited about since we've had a chance to know Morgan and her family uh, for a lot of years. And the, the third edition is Anna Watson. Anna's from Tuscola, Illinois. Um, Anna is fast, flat out fast. She has right now, she has 193 stolen bases in her career. Um, I think she's, I don't even know how many she's away from the all time record in Illinois high school history. She had 88 stolen bases um, last year, 82 stolen bases the year before, hit 661. Somebody that we feel with Katie Schultz as well, those two, I give Katie a bad time because I said we have somebody coming in faster than you and so we'll start that little competition right now. But um, between Anna and Katie, we have tons of speed out there. Morgan has very good speed, Montana speed, but you know, like I go back to what I mentioned at the beginning, very high character, very great additions to our program, academically, athletically, and I'm very excited to add them all to our uh, Bison family. If at this time there's any questions, I will answer for you. that Morgan has been coming to your camps and clinics and, and you've known about her. Have you been able to recognize and feel maybe a little bit more of these girls knowing about you guys before you know about them, just with the success you guys have had? Yeah, we're starting to get a lot of uh, people come to our camps, I guess, from a lot over that kind of probably know more about NDSU than in the past. And so, you know, somebody like Morgan, where she's a very determined young lady, she knows what she wants to do, um, and is really looking for a certain school to fit, you know, her personality and fit what she's looking for. But yeah, when we have our camps and clinics, we're starting to get a lot of people that have coming from different areas for that. You guys had success with the West Coasters in terms of recruiting, not that in this class. Just wondering why, just the kind of worked out that way or whatever the reason? We're not done recruiting yet. 